Okay, I know my videos aren't that exciting and I don't care. I'm just getting this done because I some people asked to see and I'm showing them. This is box number four, I think. I don't know. Didn't get very far down into it. Just about year. Not very far at all. So let's see what I got in box four. Um, it starts off with... The glare is terrible. The Island of Dr. Moreau, the 77 remake of Island of Souls. Based on the H.G. Wells novel. And then the cool poster, but lame movie, Visiting Hours. Very clever with the windows being blacked out into the shape of a skull. And then the devil within her with the weird baby hand thing, murderous baby hand. Love that. Even has the belly button. And then I don't know how I got westerns. I do not do westerns. Um, what is this? Shootout? Never heard of it. I don't know how it ended up in my pile. Now, this is kind of a western, but I do like the artwork on it. It looks very fun. I've never seen it, though. Buffalo Bill and the Indians or Sitting Bull's History Lesson with Paul Newman. It's a Dino De Laurentiis production. That's about the time he did King Kong and the White Buffalo. So I don't know what's going on there. Another western. What the heck is this? Doc? Faye Dunaway, Stacy Keach? Okay. I don't know. I don't know how it got here or why it's here, but it's here. And then, ooh, not going to work. And then the horror flick, The Godsend from the late 70s. I think it was the 70s. It uh, doesn't say. Maybe it was the early 80s. Seems like it was the late 70s, though. It's a British flick or something. And they, they kind of remade it, but... It's not the same as that story. Anyway, Prison Girls 3D. I think this part of these things might be in my on my thread already. This It's kind of weird because some of the things like the Westerns aren't on my thread, and this one is on my thread. And I think this is the only copy I have, but I don't know. Maybe not. Um, and here is the poster for The Forest. And this is one of those instances where the best thing about the movie is the po poster, and I think this is a very cool poster, but the movie is crap Arama. I will never watch this movie again. It's so bad. So dumb! But I love the poster. And then I have The Adventures of Hercules 2. This is the Lou Ferrigno 80s versions, not the 60s. And then I have Ghost Story, very boring poster for a, a movie that should have been better than it was. And then, oh, I'm so excited about this one. I have um, this is Herschel Gordon Lewis, the Godfather of Gore, his Gore Gore Girls. Yes, the Gore Gore Girls. Woohoo! Henny Youngman. Well, Henny Youngman is in this movie. If you know who Henny Youngman is. Okay. Um, and then I have William Castle's Straight Jacket, another copy. And then I have Hercules Against the Moon Men. And then, never saw this, but A Witch Without a Broom, starring Jeffrey Hunter and someone named Maria Pershy. Um, it's a very hexy motion picture. Arr, she's bewitched. She's hexciting. <laughs> and then I have Sandukin the Great. This is... Um, Kind of during the Hercules era. This is Steve Reeves, um, but it's kind of towards the end of the Hercules era. They're trying to find something else. They kind of latch onto this. Is kind of going for the adventure movie, kind of like Sinbad's or something. 
So we have Sandukan. And then Last House Part 2, which I think I had another one of these a while ago. This is totally bogus. David Hess is not in this movie. This movie isn't even really related to Last House on the left. It's um, Last Stop on the Night Train, a.k.a. The Night Train Murders. And it takes place on a train. And this part of the ad down here was used in... I can't even think of the name of the movie now. Uh, it was a kind of a seven, early 70s zombie kind of movie. Kind of, sort of zombie movie. And it had that beautiful woman. I can't think of her name. Damn it, what was her name? Anjanette Comer? Comer? Anjanette Comer, I think it was. I think she's in it. I can't think of the name of the movie, though. But that this was used on the ad for that. Um, and then I have something called The Last Hard Men. Again, why do I have this? I would never have bought this pur on purpose. It must have been a freebie or something. Not my type of movie. It's a western. No, thank you. Um, the Spider's Web. This is an Agatha Christie thing, apparently. Notice no one seated during the last lethal five minutes of the picture. Ooh. And then... I wish I could... Uh, this is probably a, a wonderful exploitation sleazy fun flick. Um, Seven with William Smith. And then Scream, Blackula, Scream, the sequel to the black exploitation hit Blackula. Oh, and these, before we get to the next poster, these things were supposedly um, props, just mail, in the mailroom scene from the Grinch movie, or the How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the live action one. Beatrice, who's burying Whoville, and. Mr. Who, Wershire. Well, I don't know. And we got some posts. Well, it's hard to see. Ah, dang it. Okay. So anyway, I don't know, whatever. They're either real or they're not. I don't, whatever, I had them, they were cheap. And then, The Gates of Hell. Lucio Fulci's Gates of Hell. I think I have another copy of this, but I'm glad, because this one, the other one wasn't, I think, not in very good shape, but this one's in better shape. Something called the Invisible Avenger. It's not part of the Invisible Man series. It's the wrong company, Republic Pictures, not Universal. And then, Attention Guillotineagers. I love that. That's pretty funny. Guillotineagers. It's two on a guillotine. And then, ooh, I Bury the Living. Nice old poster from 1958. Then, Spy in Your Eye. Something called Lightning Bolt. Dracula and his Vampire Bride, another copy. I have several of these, apparently. I keep coming across them. And then, The Erotic Adventures of Pinocchio. It's not his nose that grows. Oh, my stars! Look out! Pretty awful movie. The House of Missing Girls. I'm sure that's Steve's house. Um, Hollywood Vice Squad. I don't know where this came from either. It's stained, it's sticky, and it's 
I would never get this piece of trash. Baby love? Ugh. And then, ooh, I love this one. Blood of the Vampire. Ooh, that's, that's a nice poster. Wow. Fabulous. And then this little thing, I don't know where this came from. It's a UFO pamphlet. Some sort of promotional thing for uh, Mysteries of the Gods. I guess William Shatner narrates or something. I don't know. It's like a little pamphlet. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. And then something called Supervan. And then this giant Italian Hercules movie. Well, it's a sword and sandal slash peplum movie. It's Machiste Contro Lo C. I don't know how to say that word. Anyway, it's in excellent condition. Ed Fury, if you know who he is. Ed Fury, Ed Fury usually played Ursus. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know if this is really a, 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 a Machiste movie or not. Well, at least he played Ursus in the movies that were released over here. I'm going to fold this up because it's so large. I don't want to just slide it over. Okay, and then I have King of the Carnival. It's a serial from 19... What was it? 1955. It's kind of cool art. If you like circus stuff, but it looks... It's kind of fun. It's got a clown with a gun. And it's kind of very now, isn't it? Creepy clowns running around. Ugh. Some crap called The Loves of Salambo. Salambo? Yeah, Salambo. Which I'm guessing I got because it's kind of quasi Hercules movie light type thing. Maybe. I don't know. Crappy poster. I don't know why I bought it. Why bother? And then something called Maroc 7? I don't know. And then, put this over here. Oh, the last one is Saturday Night Fever. And this is the version I don't like. <laughs> I like the one that has the credits on the bottom. And I have another copy of that someplace, but... Oh, well, here we are. Saturday Night Fever. Yay. Okay, that's it for now. Get on your boogie shoes and boogie out of here, because I'm done. Cheers.